So shard of... Well, it's gotta be Sim, right? Wait a minute! Alright, welcome back to Best Anime Harem, aka Dungeon Munchies. However, that right now is kind of in danger, I would say, because... If you've been watching the last couple of episodes, Simmer is literally falling apart. Sorry, Grill. I don't know what else I can do. Now, before we go onwards, I have a new build here, which, um... I think it's gonna be a good build for clearing areas, but not for boss fights. So, we're dealing with Articuno, our own Articuno here, because I have the Ice Sight. And... I have a particular dish set up here, which essentially, the more enemies on screen that you kill, it basically causes a chain reaction of explosions, which does a lot of damage based on the enemies that you're fighting. It basically comes down to this. The Scarlet Brace Porkon creates a corp explosion when using Sights, which we're doing to harvest soul shards. And you team that up with the Blood Red Battery Soup, which um, ignites other souls nearby. Plus, we also have a dish that lets me soup this guy up by 300% speed. Look at that right there. Him alone, 500 damage. Let me boost you up and let's go, baby. <laughs> what are you? That is a, a rabbit. A very, uh, oh my god, they got like big giant mandibles and everything. The terrifying ass rabbits. Ow, they hurt like hell. Ow, they hurt. They hurt. Articuno, help me, please. Okay, you know what, these guys, it might just be the fact that we're in this weird slope. I can't get a good hit on them because we're sliding up and down over and over. Simmer Soshard. Aww. Isn't that adorable? Are you feeling okay? You look pretty under the weather. Nothing, it's just work. You're working at the revival department, right? Bringing back talented workers and stuff? Yeah. Hey, you really don't look well. Wanna talk about it? Last month, I was assigned to revive this old mage. His wife and his son had already passed away, so... He didn't see any point in living anymore. He wanted to end his life. He wasn't allowed to die. He had a talent, the ability to generate endless amounts of petroleum. Every three days, I'd have to go revive him because every time, he'd find a different way to try to leave his, this world. I tried telling him that as long as he tried hard enough, he would find the motivation to live again. And every time, he would look back at me with that empty stare, like he was making fun of me. In the end, he succeeded. He discovered a way to completely wipe his body and soul off the face of the world. When I arrived at the scene, I could only watch as he disintegrated into the ether. He looked happy, like he was relieved of everything. Afterwards, nothing remained. From that day on, I... I don't know. I never thought about... I never thought helping people stay alive was such a terrible thing. Petroleum? So that's why prices are going through the roof. Hmm. Interesting. A necromancer that is having doubts about reviving people. Through necromancy. Our girl Sibber is deeper than we think. Oh, what are you? Okay. Um, Articuno, let me buff you up and can you tear this dude apart for me? Thank you. Thank you. Got the big one. <laughs> Got the old big. Alright, this isn't too bad. I think now, like, if the rabbits disappear for, for good, I think I'm happy. I think we do a lot better with this build without the rabbits. What are you guys? Oh, I'm literally gonna use you to go up? Ooh, that sounds very- that looks very annoying already. What do we got here? Oh, so with the killer rabbits, we got the killer rabbit soup flying towards- uh, I don't- I don't use the hook weapon. I don't really- haven't even tried it, to be honest with you. Mana fountain automatically regenerate a magic circle that heals 8 mana per second. And I wish we could just fight an even ground and not these goddamn slopes. I think right might be the way to go, so for now, let's go through here. Articuno, let me soup you up. There we go. Oh, you see those explosions? There we go. One, two, three. Oh, oh, got it. So, Shard. Don't they offer counseling at your job? Oh, it's continuation of what we just got. Of course they do, but all they say is, you're working for the good of humanity, or you're making a significant contribution to society, and keep up the good work. Huh. It's the same on our side. The creatures at Surbeo need to be fed. Some of them eat people. But we just handle the can 
the canned products, so it's a lot less of an impact on our mental health. Alright, so I was cleaning the place the other day and found this picture of us, along with the recipe we wrote with Uncle Z. I want to ask you an important life question. Huh? Do you want grilled fish? Because I do. What? They'd fill our houses with drones if they knew you smuggled that out, let alone cook it. What's more, we don't even know how to cook without Uncle Z. <laughs> She's smacking her in the face with the fish. See, taking risks brings new life excitement, or new excitement of life. We have to enjoy living. Don't tell me you don't miss the taste of grilled fish. But, but, do you even know how to prepare it? No, why would I know? But let's find out. Hmm. I guess Grill did have a wild side to her beforehand. I wasn't just simmer all along. Um, Articuno, can you not like impale yourself with ice? I mean, that's my job, buddy. All right, so we got slippery obstacle. Hey, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> this is, okay, there we go. Surprisingly, got through that without any damage. What do you think is the right one, right or left? I'm thinking right is to go forward. Let's go left here for extra goods. Gory meat bun. Sounds delicious. Another soul shard? No, it's them, um, grilling the fish. Is it done? Is it done? I don't know. Kinda. Perhaps? Maybe? Whatever. Mine! She has dough face first in that bowl. How is it? Oh, it's good. Oh... You ate the whole thing? Where's my share? Did you think there was only one? Look, I brought an entire crate. You do know that by doing this, we might lose our jobs, right? We're gonna have to live as wanted criminals. Oh, I never would have thought of that eating good food would be a bad thing. Let's make some more and ask the others what they think. Hmm. Wonder if, um, oh. Uh, what the? Ah! Oh my god, there's an invisible enemy! Oh, I, I barely saw like the shadow of it. I was like, am I am I seeing things? Am I tripping out right now? No, that's a, a freaking creature from the abyss. Oh, the Wendigo meat. Okay, I seen a couple of dishes that require that. Nice. Some of them actually look pretty good, like dishes in terms of like their use. That could be fairly good. It's just terrifying that he's actually invisible though. Alright. I'll have to keep her eye open. Ow! Stop! Keep her eye open on that. Go now. Can I get like a crafting area? I'd like to um check out the Oh, the, I saw the Wendigo. You can actually see the shadow of it. Just barely before he actually pops up. It's actually kinda cool. Let me buff up my Articuno here. Oh yeah. Get out of here. Oop. That was leftovers of him, right? Yeah. Get out of here. I'm telling you, you have me, you fight me in even ground, it's a different story. You fight me in slopes, well obviously they have the advantage. But even ground, that's my playground right there, boy. Oh, crafting area? Yes, thank you, okay. Shadow Fang, fires a burst of black flame that continues burning the enemy. Ooh. Oh, wait a second here, this sounds kind of good. We just need two more Wendigos, huh? Give me a second. Two hours later. Alright, so this is the Shadow Fang, which is this right here that I just unlocked. Almost very close to making the sword as well, we'll check that out. But it's essentially kind of like a shotgun. A dark imbued shotgun blast up in your face. I'm not sure if it's going to be any better than um, what we were rocking with the Uzi. But I'll give it a try at least. It looks kind of cool. I, I wonder if it's more than just that. Let me... Oh, you guys spawn here? Perfect. This is a good place to spawn. Um, farm you guys. Are they going to buff you up? Yes. So, I mean, are you guys seeing anything really much of value of this? I'm not sure how much of that was the shotgun, how much was already going to work. Oh, another one! Sweet. Alright, yeah, this is perfectly the, the spot to farm these boys. Yeah, I'm not sure, my DPS really isn't climbing that high up. And that's even with the Articuno next to us as well. I don't know, I might just go back to the Uzi. It was giving us range as well, this is kind of like, you know, up close. And the sight's already very lame for like, up close combat, so I'm not sure if this really adds to it. Cryptid Noodle Soup. Oh, maybe that could help us out here a little bit. Oh, it's time, baby! Increases max sight summon limit by 1, and summon max health by 10%. So now we have three Articunos, which I can apparently juice up this way. 
And now our DPS, well over the 500s. That's, a, that's assuming that they all team up on the single enemy we're fighting. So if they all team up on one enemy, tons and tons of damage. And obviously we're back to the Uzi as well. With the sight, I can't really be up close and personal. I need a little bit of range to stay far away. So I feel fairly confident with the Red Akuno still, how much I can tell you. Come here, boys. Let me give you a little buff. And let's go up. This is the way to proceed. Hello? Oh, I got, I got news for you guys. You showed up at the wrong spot. At this point, I'm gonna be honest with you, at this point with the, with the sights, or at least with the Articunas that we got, I might want to get rid of this um, corpse explosion. I did like it quite a bit, as a matter of fact, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be too valuable now. Uh, too valuable now that we have like three Articunos. Like with one, I feel like we definitely did need it, right? But with three, I don't know. I think we're out. Fudge. We might be all right. Stay over here. There we go. Which will free up a couple of dishes for us, maybe to actually ah, maybe to actually pump either our summons more. Or make a viable secondary weapon with a couple of extra dishes. Because right now, I'm only doing the machine or the Uzi just because of the range, but it's not the most amazing thing. You boys rock, however. I gotta remember to keep um, buffing you guys with that slash. Okay, let's keep going down this way. Alright, another shard. So shard of... Almost gotta be Simmer, right? Wait a minute. Look here. Casting this spell will wipe away all evidence of your existence. Ha. Huh. Don't you think that's a bit iffy? How's it gonna find evidence? How's it gonna find evidence of my existence and wipe it out? I'm gonna just do this in my regular voice because I don't know who's talking right now. Don't you think it's a bit iffy? How's it gonna find evidence of my existence and wipe it out? Is it gonna scour the internet to lead all my posts and find my phone to lead all my conversations? Doesn't seem likely. Don't worry. If that was really the case, this wouldn't even have been written down. I will die, and I will vanish from this world. But I know you remember me. Then again, maybe you won't. It's not important. I will summon a more powerful being to control my body and become the most powerful zombie in the universe. Then I can finally free you from the threat of that monster. You and Grill have already become spirits. But you can still think and talk. I think that counts as being alive. You can't stop me from doing this, and you'll probably forget about me. But remember to treat the zombie with care. So, does that mean the other memories of her giving that soup to that guy she was talking about? That was indeed us. Because that right there was at least our body, right? Hmm. Does Simmer remember, though? It kind of treats us with care, or she kind of treats us with care a bit, right? No, Simmer's collapse is accelerating, but why? Connected to the Snow Peak District Office, attempting to gain access. How did you get here? An unknown operator used government comms to connect to the computers here. To do that, they would need government IDs. I'm checking to see if there are still survivors. What's more, this user likely conversed with Simmer using this terminal. You better not be doing things behind my back. Tell me where my friend is. Speculation will only wear down your concentration. All video calls are recorded by government surveillance systems. Go ahead and use the computer here. I will try to replay the conversation. Same thing. Oh, she's staying back there. We do have shards over on this side. Ooh. That monster. That monster. Those arms and stuff are very eerily similar to, uh, Putrid, is it? Records found. Replaying conversation. Rotten fruit. Simmer the Necromancer. Greetings. Are you even able to understand us in that broken state? Oh, so this just happened not too long ago. Grill could never understand your important plan. Don't stop for her. No, 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 no. What's this? Did you drop something? 
Oh, it's one of your precious memories. Do you want to relieve it to motivate you? Do you need me to remind you? Come, come. Let's all take a look. Don't do it, Simmer. Is there no other way? What the hell is happening? It's Uncle Z. So, who Tyler was holding Emily, maybe? Kamul is the, the, the skeleton dude of our posse. Am I going to die? What's going to happen next? I guess I'll see you on the other side. Girl graciously accepted that. She wasn't a coward like you. Grill, you'd hate me if you knew. You wiped out your friends' souls and turned them into magic only to satisfy your selfish desires. Now both of your souls are imprisoned in this mortal world. Is it Simmer who allowed me to live on as a spirit? Wasting all this magic on animated skeletons. You're just covering up for the fact that you let them die. They don't exist. You made them. And I know you know this. You sacrificed everyone to bring Grill back. But surprise, she ended up opposing you. You can't deny it. In this vast, empty dungeon, you've got no one but yourself. You're all alone. So let it all go. Accept putrid into your heart and liberate yourself from this world. Your beliefs and your attachments can only bring you suffering. We have gathered enough energy. The ritual will begin in a few days. When putrid descends, there will be no more violence, no more suffering. All this will become nothing. Nothing will be able to stop you from ending the cycle's suffering. You keep trying to flee faith, keep running, because someday you'll catch up. I have confirmed its claim. A massive store of energy has been detected under this facility. Preliminary estimates indicate that it will be capable of destroying the entire underground facility. It's destined to be destroyed. Simmer was right all this time. But who's putrid? And why would they do this? There is currently no possible solution to prevent this disaster. Evacuation is the only reasonable plan. I'm going to save Simmer. Proposal rejected. The mass of magical energy can explode at any time. You will be putting yourself in pointless peril. Then tell me, where should we evacuate to? Calculating. Calculations complete. Under current conditions, there is nowhere to evacuate to. Good. Then I'm going to save Simmer. Incomprehensible. Saving Simmer is a mistake. It will change nothing. In this crazy chaotic world, nothing is ever correct. If nothing is ever correct, then nothing can be a mistake. If everything's about to blow up, then I need to do what I want to do before that happens. I also want to tell Simmer that I won't disappear that easily. Understood. Activating the VIP emergency passage. Huh? The what? To prepare for the scenario of a catastrophe, government officials prepared VIP passages to allow them to quickly access the Stargate. These will let you go to the lower levels, where you'll probably find Simmer. I'm not authorized to operate on the lower levels, so I won't be able to help you from this point on. Good luck. <sighs> to be honest, Zombie, I'm a mess right now. I don't have the brain power to think about conversation or human culture or whatever. I just want Simmer to be alive, even if everything will be destroyed in the end. I don't know why Simmer created you, but please help me. Man, that's a lot. So Simmer... ...caused them to die, but then in... ...but to bring them back as spirits. And then there's the fact that... ...our character as well. Before a zombie. It was probably that guy from the memories too. And brought back as a zombie. But again, who is putrid? Good question.
Well, let's see what we got over here because we are running way over time, but I'm curious if there's anything of interest here. Maybe a boss we could quickly do or... Jeez Louise. <laughs> that was all really happening in case you were wondering. Anything hidden up here? No? Where does this lead us to? The Capitol Highway. With another little banger of a song. The soundtrack thus far for this uh, chapter has been really, really good. Anything of note here before we sign? Oh, I found a secret. Before we sign off, we have gotten ourselves the crep crepuscular moon. I don't know what that is. It kind of has like a bit of a, a spear look to it, but it could also be a staff for all I know. Oh my goodness, God, what the hell is this? Like, Gravelord Nito's hideout? What is... Jeez, look at the background! What... The hell? It's just all the leftovers. All the people that died. So we got souls back there, we got all sorts of skeletons. This is a grim ass spot. Alright. This in particular is eerie as oh hell. Perfect place to wrap it up, I would say. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for the next one. We shall come back. If I know what happened to Simmer. Hopefully if I know what really happened. We'll get through this weird, scary, trippy ass maze. I'll catch you guys next time.